The Western Naval Command of Indian Navy has announced maiden flight of the Drishti 10 drone that was recently delivered by Adani Defence. Indian firm Galaxy has unveiled the world's first multi-sensor satellite for Earth observation named Drishti that fuses the power of both multispectral imaging sensor and synthetic aperture radar. Some employees of Hindustan Aeronautics are likely to be sent to replace the Indian military personnel operating the two Dhruv helicopters and Dornier aircraft in Maldives. Rwanda and India held the first edition of Joint Defence Cooperation Committee meeting in Rwanda to boost joint military exercises and defence industrial cooperation. China is integrating high-energy laser-based weapon on its Type 57 warships. India and Australia have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to enhance cooperation and mutual development within the space sector. The Indian Army has secured a patent for a hexacopter tactical remotely piloted aircraft, which will be used for surveillance reconnaissance and detection tasks at high altitude areas. Despite already pouring $2 billion into future attack reconnaissance aircraft program, the US Army has cancelled its multi-billion dollar program, mainly due to the challenges of developing an unmanned variant, and potential cost concerns. The DRDO is developing a ground attack variant of Rudram 3 missile, and latest reports indicate that the development of its penetration cum blast and thermobaric warhead has now been completed. It will be a hypersonic Mach 5 capable air launched quasi ballistic missile with a range of about 550 km, and the DRDO is said to be preparing Su 30 fighter jets for firing trials. A second anti-radiation variant of the Rudram 3 missile is also under development, that will destroy enemy communication stations bunkers and surveillance radar systems. India is planning a significant upgrade to its fleet of 1450 T-90 main battle tanks, that will include increased armor protection and enhanced firepower. And in order to counter any weight issues, the Army is exploring a DRDO developed Datron 1500 horsepower engine, that is currently being tested for the futuristic main battle tank program. Indian firm Carmen Drones has developed tethered aerial robot known as TAR, that can be deployed in less than 10 minutes, and has an endurance of more than 40 hours, and can carry 1.5 kilograms payload. It features object tracking capabilities, and is equipped with electro-optical and infrared sensors, that provides uninterrupted all-around day and night surveillance. The Indian Army has expressed dissatisfaction with the results of projects funded through the RDO's Technology Development Fund scheme, and the Army is now exploring alternative avenues like leveraging in-house expertise, and collaborating with international partners. This shift comes after two crucial projects were scrapped in the last six months due to unsatisfactory outcomes from the TDF platform. Today's Top 3 Comments